Alright Pistons fans, so in today's video, we got some new training footage from Sabin Lee and Hamadou Diallo. Now before I'll show you guys the images and clips that I have, please make sure you guys like this video. Today's like goal is 200 likes. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. I drop consistent Pistons content. Now let's get into this. So Sabin Lee and Hamadou Diallo decided to team up and go work out with Olin Simplis. He is a NBA and WNBA developmental trainer. And I was kind of curious on, you know, what other guys he's worked with in the NBA. And apparently Olin has worked with Kevin Durant and Evan Mobley most recently. So that's just a little bit of background information there. Now play the clips of Saban Lee and Hamadou Diallo training. Now sink it. Good, good fluid motion. Still get them, get the feet up under you. One motion. We live with that. Stay with it. Come on. Pace, pace. Now snatch them. Good. So yeah, it's definitely good to see um, Saban Lee and Diallo doing shooting drills because I feel like for both of these guys, their biggest weakness is their shooting ability. Last season for the Detroit Pistons, Diallo shot 24% from the three-point line and Saban Lee shot 23% from the three-point line. Now, look, I'm not one of these guys who says three-point shooting is, you know, everything in today's NBA. I feel like that's ridiculous. I believe that the mid-range game and scoring inside is still extremely valuable in today's NBA. But at the same time, if you have one area to your game that doesn't match up with your other areas, it's definitely going to hold you back. And when you look at Saban and Diallo, they're talented players, but their lack of shooting definitely holds them back and I believe if they can improve their shooting there's a high likelihood that they could get more minutes on the Pistons next season so this is a short little video just wanted to share those clips with you guys of Diallo and Saban training during the offseason and before I get up out of here you know I just want to say as far as Hamadou Diallo goes Sometimes during the season, it just felt like he was the heart and soul for the Pistons. You know, he would come off the bench, get a steal, he'd get a dunk. He'd go multiple plays on the offensive end of the floor where he constantly drove to the lane and scored over and over and over again. He was our spark plug. He was the bench player who came and just gave us pure energy. So I'm wishing the best for Diallo. I hope that he stays healthy next season because this year that was kind of an issue for him. And then also, I hope there's no more drama between him, Casey, and Troy Weaver. And then lastly, as far as saving Lee goes, I just hope that, you know, he can improve enough this offseason to replace Corey Joseph. Corey Joseph is serviceable enough, but I would love for Saban to just be able to take that leap to where he would be able to get main roster minutes next season. But that's basically everything. Pistons fans, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Like this video, comment on this video, share this video. Thank you all for 5K, and I'm out. Um, I would say for me, just uh, off of last season, um, just being ready when my name's called, um, and then just kind of takeaways was just... Um, Continue to uh, work on my pace, pick and roll play, and shooting was big for me this off season. Uh, working on my shooting was uh, number one for me, uh, so that's something this off season um, I focused on personally. Um, and then going into this uh, next season, just um, want to be a defensive minded guard, um, being ready to guard um, other teams' best players, uh, best guards, um, and just whatever a coach wants me to do, just uh, whatever role he asks me to play. Uh, just do that and um, excel in that role. So that's kind of my mindset going forward. Coming back to Detroit, just a matter of when and when it would get done. Um, yeah, definitely. Um, free agency was a it was a great process. Uh, I'm happy to be back and just get this thing going. And looking forward to doing great things in the city for sure. Mm -hmm.